Hey pups and peeps, Angie Woods with Dog Psychology 101. Today we're going to talk about the difference between work and vacation. I bet that rings true for you. How do dogs earn a living? No kibble in the bowl out in the wild. So dogs actually are scavengers and they work for a living. They go looking from garbage can to garbage can or maybe hope the grandma throws something out for them. So I believe in a structured walk first that involves their brain and connection to you. And then we should be able to take our dogs off a leash and let them have freedom. Both sides of the leash are super important. So let's go see how we do it. All right, so the first thing we wanna be able to do on our walks is really get our dogs connected to us and paying attention to us. So you see these guys are nervous. They're actually in for our immersion program for being really nervous. And nervous dogs actually build their confidence through you. Do they feel like you're gonna protect them? Or are you gonna let people molest them when you're out for your walk? So everybody in America wants to come and touch your dog. I'm a real big proponent of people not touching your dog, at least in the beginning. Not until the dog is comfortable with it and not nervous about the new person. Until then, we should just wait. And then they can learn to just be in society without being molested. So give this some thought. Do you let people fondle your children in public? Hell no. <laughs> so why do you let people do it to your dog? So I mentioned this a lot. In Europe, dogs are everywhere. They could be off leash with their pet parents. They follow them through the crowds. The biggest difference that helps create that is that Europeans don't ask to pet your dog. So they're not taught to be disconnected from you at any time when you're in public. So be a little European. So this way, we can see, and if you, you see Winston, he checks in with me a lot. Your leash should be loose, and everybody should be relaxed. And if we notice, once we get Winston's, there we go. When they're with me, if they're paying attention to me, their ears are gonna be tucked back a little bit. And of course, he's watching Emily with the camera, but see, now this is what I'm looking for. This means we are together. If your dog is walking with their ears straight up all the time, they're in hunting mode. They're in alert. They're looking for something. They're worried about something. They want to bark at something, but it means they're not with you. And if you feel like that is a problem, then go back to how to stop your dog from pulling videos so you can learn how to get a really good connection between you and your dog. 